I just thought we'd sit here and show you guys some eye candy today. Why they become holdbacks, how they become holdbacks, why I hold snakes back, why I don't sell snakes. supposed to do like some kind of uh, music Monday by now, but since Hillary's keeping me from doing work, she's constantly uh, getting in my way and making <laughs> other things. Well, Hillary, get that camera out of my face. Cusco <laughs> is... She, she's not really to blame, but I'm going to blame you anyway. <laughs> but I just thought we'd sit here and show you guys some eye candy today because uh, it's... Oh, thanks, honey. Creeping, <laughs> creeping closely to uh, the time that we need to put this video out and... I got nothing. I've been super on it, super on it. Like I've been putting out videos consistently for the last who knows how long now. I haven't missed a video and I don't know how long. It's been a long time. I wanted to look at some of the whole backs. You guys just sit back and relax and we'll show you some pretty snakes. I'll talk about them, talk about maybe some points about why they become holdbacks, how they become holdbacks, why I hold snakes back, why I don't sell snakes. This is one of the challenges. We got a little baby girl running around and we're trying to do a podcast at some point here, just the two of us. and talk about this and that but um we got <laughs> it's gonna be a challenge we've got hillary her own little fancy microphone here as you can see and hoping that we'll be able to put these things to use once a week and do our own podcast which is going to be called the cusco's uncut so the reason i've brought you here today <laughs> you're the hand model. my hair look crazy yeah it looks super crazy it's called quarantine style i'm the hand model yeah. with my lovely semi-painted fingernails <laughs> Again, quarantine style. It's Mr. Pink. This is the first Eli's snake. Eli's favorite. Eli's favorite and the first snake that we ever produced here at Triple B. I haven't been holding chickens, right? He's okay, an yeah. Enchi Lesser possible sunset, possible, well, not possible, possible het sunset ball python. And I'm hoping he to at some crazy. point prove him out to be het sunset, but he's just here mainly because he is the very first snake that we ever produced. He's looking pretty, and pretty light favorite. today. And he's Eli's favorite. Well, I mean... Yeah, it's a given. Oh, wait. But Eli's favorite, right? Not Leia? It, um, it's, who, it's who everybody. Always asked to hold Mr. Pink? Mr. Pink has been everybody's favorite snake for quite some time. Okay. How old is Mr. Pink? Mr. Pink was hatched back in 2015. I'm sorry, I told you a lie. It was uh, December 6th, 2016. Oh, yeah. No, not almost your birthday. Sorry, Mr. Pink. He's named Mr. Pink because he's the f only snake that survived out of that clutch. There's a movie called Reservoir Dogs. And Mr. Oh. Pink was the last to survive. <laughs> you can... It's okay. questionable whether or not he survived because he runs outside and there's a bunch of gunfire. Is that so William Defoe. No, it's um. Mm. Is it one of the actors from um, the St brothers? Steve Buscemi. The, um, Steve Buscemi. But is it one of the actors? Steve from... Buscemi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's hurt. <laughs> yeah, Steve Buscemi. Is it one of the actors from what is that movie with the two Irish brothers? No. No, Steve Buscemi is not in. Uh, I didn't. I. What is that movie called? Boondock Saints. Yes, it's no, none of the actors from that movie. Mm, I don't believe dogs. Steve Buscemi was in Boondock Saints. Well, no, I'm, he wasn't. But none of the actors from other actors from it were in Reservoir Dogs. I don't, no, I don't think so. Mm, okay. Yeah, and I'm mixing things up. Okay. So, anyways, that's how. I anyways, mean, Mr. It, Pink. this is going to possibly be a thumbnail if we get you to smile. Well, you gotta make me smile. <laughs> <laughs> don't smile. Don't smile. No. Cindy. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's Cindy. She's uh, from the second clutch we ever produced here at Triple B. She went in Bullwinkles? Um, no, she was from Bruce and the recently departed Lucy. Oh, when your mama died. Yeah, so. Oh. But she's produced clutches here for us now, too. There was one person that was maybe going to get this snake. That was Brian Gundy. And he, he's like, if you ever decide to let her go, to let me know. And I... I gave him a price I knew he, that nobody would pay. <laughs> Sorry, Brian. <laughs> but I really wanted to keep her. That's kind of how I decide where I'm going to hold back. I just, if I really, really want to keep something, like literally every everything I produce at Triple B except for Mr. Pink has been kind of for sale. Um, if I really don't want to sell something, I'll just price it at a price that if somebody's willing to pay that, then they'll get them. Right. But otherwise, they're staying here. So that's kind of how the holdbacks here work. Right, I didn't even say what she is. She's an Enchi Firefly Clown. Enchi Firefly Clown. Yeah. Uh, oh, look at that face. Who wouldn't love a face like that? I do like her little speckled head. 
Uh, this is Princess. Princess. One of the Queen's offspring. Nice. Oh. I remember when we went to the East Bay Vivarium and mm -hmm. we were first looking at them. Mm -hmm. These are the ones I was most attracted the to. The Bible? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This, this one's also 100% hit clown. Which is kind of funny that you picked Carl because he's like our most bland snake. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? I'm not saying bland is a bad thing. Like he's just the color wise and pattern wise. He stuck out to me. He stuck snake. out to me. I wanted to get a piebald maybe. Do you ever and hold the... Carl? You ever yeah. give Carl some love? Of course. Okay. <laughs> Always. Every one of these snakes, every time I'm cleaning enclosures, I, I spend some time with them. And I, right. Yeah. I know, but I guess it's just like now seeing the variety. Well, let's pull out Carl and see how bland he really is. How about that? <laughs> I'm sorry, Carl. Oh, kind of. Okay, so I kind of forgot what Carl looks like, uh, I guess. Hypo but pinstripe. Color wise, he's bland no, compared to some other ones. He's beautiful. I would. Well, bland can be beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> so you shoot from this angle, see how bland you get. <laughs> um, oh, actually, you look pretty good even from this angle. Wow. Thanks. <laughs> Carl. Hey, Carl. Yep, the first ball python at Triple B. As anyone knows, if you're playing to breed ball pythons, you don't get a male first. But mm -hmm. I just wanted to get a snake. That was my thing. I, just, I need a snake. We're back. <laughs> it's snake time. Mm -hmm. Bridget. Ah, uh, yeah. You, I, well, I was gonna say, I wouldn't guess you would guess that. Nope. So Bridget is a cinnamon sunset, and I'll admit that she definitely lost some of her color as she got older. Sunset. Um, definitely, or cinnamon definitely kind of doesn't pull, hold the sunset colors together very well. But if you add Enchi to the cinnamon sunset, then it's just mind blowing, even more mind blowing than just Enchi alone. Which anybody who works with sunset at this point, I think, can agree that Enchi is really the key to unlock the pa power and red and orange that sunset holds so much that even with the cinnamon sunset, which is why she's a holdback because I priced her at one of those prices. Like, if somebody really, really wants a snake, they can get her, but. Um, at the time, I priced her at thirty-five thousand. Nobody wanted to pay it, so here she stayed. And uh, but so I've got an Enchi sunset to, or I've got thirty-five thousand dollars. Thirty-five thousand. You priced this snake at thirty-five thousand dollars. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap! Yeah. But look at, but look at. See, here's my point. Here's look at how well because the of pattern genetics. Yeah, look at how well the pattern is held in the contrast. The contrast of the pattern is held very, See, very what well does that into mean? adulthood. Like between the light and darks, it's not muddled. Uh, okay. It's not, it's not, um, you know, all blown out or or just hard to tell. Like it's easy to tell the difference between where the alien heads are and the the other sides. There's a for how dark this snake is, which is one one of the things cinnamon does. That's kind of my point. Is if you have the darkness of the cinnamon in there with the sunset, and then you bring the enchi, then it's, because Enchi Cinnamon Sunsets definitely look better than just straight Enchi Sunsets, in my opinion, and probably many other people's opinion if they give it a good look. Um, just So who will she breed with? Um, she'll breed with an Enchi, uh, with Bruce. It'll be an Enchi Het Sunset. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I know, it's a little weird. I mean, do snakes do that in the wild? Mm, I mean, it depends on how close they stay to their, their home. You don't want to do that too much. Mm -hmm. Some people would argue that you don't want to do that at all. Okay. But there's, there is the potential that I'll do a trade just to, I know a few other people working with Sunset, so what I may do is just um, do a trade just so we can Ooh. diversify the genetics a little bit more. Okay. Although all Sunsets, which is true of a lot of different morphs in ball pythons, is that all the genetics originated with, from one snake that came in from the wild. So mm -hmm. all of the Sunsets that are in this country... Or anywhere at this point, from my understanding, originate from the same parents. Okay. So, oh, just the way the pattern holds on her, it's just beautiful. Yeah, thanks for triggering back up I above. I mean, if anyone wants to pay $10,000. For what? For her? No, I don't think so. That's no, 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 no. The price stays. You want hers 35000 to this day. Sorry. Uh, that could be a new car, man. Uh... Oedipus? Oedipus. Uh, Oedipus. Yes, it is spelled with an O, but Oedipus is how... Can you... What are you doing? Oh, I don't know. I'm trying to film this snake, and you're over there, like, Sorry. doing weird stuff. Just, so, no. Coral Glow Clown. Sorry. Coral Glow Pied, 100% Het Clown, produced from a uh, Coral Glow Pied, the king, to our Clown Pied, the queen. No and, banana in here? Well, Coral Glow is the same as banana. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah. Yep. That's right. If you know your ancient history, you know why he's got that name. Which probably nobody does. 
because you've told me if and you, I don't even remember. If you know the history of Oedipus, which I'm sure some of you guys out there do, go ahead and drop it down below. Let us know. Let everybody else no know. No Googling. No Googling. If you Google it, you cheat. Cheat. You just got to know it. All right. Um, do I have any other holdbacks? We don't keep too many snakes back. <laughs> People are willing to pay astronomical prices. That's not good business. Calling your prices no. astronomical. Well, I call them astronomical. Maybe not... bleep that out. <laughs> they're not. They're just. But you're getting more than just a snake in genetics when you get a snake here. Like you're getting. You're getting quality at Triple B. Well, lifetime customer service too, like I, I, and other you know other things. And you'd be amazed. Right, Gar Garrett brings this up too. Like you'd be amazed. I how would much... just not call your business prices astronomical. I'd say fair market prices or something like that. We're not trying to race to the bottom. Speaking of snakes for sale. At astronomical prices. <laughs> <laughs> Come and get them. That'll be our next project. Breeding ball pythons that stay this small. <laughs> Okay, it's like the opposite of a Volta. So this, I'm mean, gonna, you, know, you oh, thank you. <laughs> Hi. So this guy, I haven't had to put a snake, or I haven't put a snake on Morph Market Acceleration. Thank you to you folks on on YouTube. I mean, this is like our main spot where people see our snakes and and want to get them. I haven't put one on Morph Market since like halfway back towards last season. It's been a while. Hey, look at this guy. Um, hey, Noah. Guys. Wait, hold on. What? Do you know? I know that I want to tell you something. What's that? That there are two things I want to tell you. The first thing is I was coming down here, and when um, I opened the door, the chickens were right there, and it scared some of them. So they jumped back, and then I saw Red Rock poop and then to step in it oh, but yeah on our, on our porch yeah oh. and um eli's doing an ipad it's me <laughs> it's <Hi>. me <laughs> anyway okay this is an enchi fire coral glow hunt a uh, double het clown pied male and he's one of the ones from that clutch that's going to be available he's eaten on his own already and he's just an amazing, amazing looking snake. Uh, it's very pretty. Very pretty snake, and some great genetics in there. Can you open? Can you hold him? Let him crawl out a little bit, so we can see a little bit more of his pattern and how it's come together. It's Those white spots up in the dorsal. The just some beautiful stuff happening with Ooh. this snake. <laughs> and what kind is this again? Enchi Fire Coral Glow Double Het Clown Pied Male. Yeah, that's kind of like a foreign language to me. <laughs> I had asked you at one point if you wanted to learn all this stuff, with, and you're like, eh, you know. I mean, we've talked about it on car rides and stuff, and like you taught me about the alleles and what het means and homo. I mean, I know like homozygous, and I, but when you're not, you don't need to know that information. <laughs> I, know, um, I know. It's just a. It doesn't stick with me. Dream of mine for to be able to like make it a true family business where you know that stuff and. Um, but you know, you have to be into it. And so I said, I remember I asked you, I, I was very short with you. I was like, yeah. I was like, do you, do you have any interest in mom? And you're like, well, no, I was like, no, I was like, <laughs> I was like well, what, but I was like, no, you said no, that's yeah. all right. No means no. Yeah. <laughs> I know I how mean, that works. Yeah. Like <laughs> I get it. I'll help out where and when I can, but this is, this is definitely your you're, passion. You're helping out where you can is right yeah. here right now. And homeschooling and raising our children. Yeah, yeah I get it. <laughs> it all works. It's worse for me. I'm not I mean, yeah, I could be more into it, but I, I don't want to. I like, wouldn't, but I, you would, you would have to actually be into it. No, if you're I not, know. If you were not, yeah. And I'm not gonna like pretend that this is like my passion project too. Exactly. Because it's not. Exactly. But I, I know. I love that you're doing what you love, and that our kids have a reptile zoo at their fing fingertips. <laughs> yep. No doubt. Oh, you know what? There's something that came up. Uh, People were asking, because uh, you didn't know how much I paid for the queen, because I saw the queen, clown pied, and I was like, I need that snake right there. I don't know if I told you how much I went to go pay for her. When was this? This was like the first reptile show I went to with my dad. Oh, and I got okay. this, got her for okay. 5500 mm -hmm. And I don't think you knew at the time how much I was paying for a snake. Probably not. I didn't know how much you were paying for a lot of things until I saw how much debt we were in. 
financially intelligent people would would say not to go into debt to make investments, but mm. <laughs> but I'm not well, the smartest person on the planet. Well, you're I just feel things smart, out. Yeah, I feel things out. Yeah, and you're turning your passion. You've turned it into your career, so that's awesome. That's right. Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. feel it. It's good. Someday we'll buy a house. <laughs> Someday. <laughs> Well, I, I got everything I need. Okay, cool. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay. Shoots. Aloha, guys. Speaking to the mic. Oh, I was saying into the camera. I know. But... Okay, I said shoots and aloha. <laughs> Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Say something. What's your favorite color, Leia? Pink. Oh, <gasps> pink. What about blue? Nothing, nothing, yeah. Do you like blue? You like blue too? Pink and blue? Yeah. What about yellow? Yellow. You like yellow? And purple. And purple? Do you know the colors of the rainbow? Yeah. Do you know them in rainbow order? Yeah. How does it go? Orange and pink and blue. Good. Yeah. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue. blue. Indigo violet? Nice! High five! That was good! Oh, oh! How about, can you count to ten? No! One, two, how old are you? Can you hold this in your hand? How old are you? Leia, how old are you? Are you three? No! How old are you? Two. 